Upper Peninsula Sports with Jake Duran from the Gander Outdoor Sports Desk. Everything outdoors for less. The Marquette boys basketball team was back in action tonight hosting the Gladstone Braves. The Redmen and Braves met earlier this season with Marquette coming out on top. Let's go to Marquette Senior High School for round two between the teams. First quarter, Braves up three. Liam Dar left wide open 4-3. That is good, and we are tied at 10. Gladstone going to take the lead right back. Nice ball movement here by the Braves. Jared Crow going to catch it in the post, turn and sink it. It's 12-10 Gladstone. Let's go to the second quarter now. Marquette leading. Ethan Martish pulls up from deep in transition. That's money, 19-14 Redmond. Later, Marquette extending their lead as Martish knocks in another triple, 29-16 Redmond, with 3.30 left in the first half. Gladstone hanging in, hanging in there. Reese Caster using the backboard to his advantage, 29-18 Marquette. However, Marquette just too strong in front of their home crowd. They get the win 66 to 44. Let's go to Gwen. The Model Towners hosting the Hancock Bulldogs. Check out this dime from Tucker Taylor to Austin Forbes, who's going to finish with the reverse. It's 8 2 Gwen. Hancock will answer. Nice set play to free up Devin Razio for the score. It's 10 4 Gwen. Bulldogs is going to come right back as Carson Chenoweth splashes home the mid-range jumper. It's 10-6 Model Towners. Gwynn answers. Taylor holding down the middle of the paint. Gets it to go. Model Towners up six. Second quarter now. Peyton Anderson going to knock down the triple from the top of the key to make it 14-9 Gwynn. Later, Taylor with a no-look bounce pass to Forbes for another score. Those two in sync tonight. 18-13 Model Towners. Just under a minute to go in the first half. The ball will find Taylor down low once again. He finishes plus the foul. Gwynn tops Hancock 53-45. Taylor finished with 28 points and 11 rebounds. Another boys basketball score for you. The Norway Knights top the Carney NATO Wolves 48-38. Now to girls basketball, Westwood hosting Iron Mountain. First quarter, Mountaineers up three. Koski going to connect from deep. We're tied at eight. Westwood keeps it up. Koski driving. She's able to score and one. Pats go up 14-8. Second quarter now, Sailor Swart out. Misses her first attempt. She gets it back and gets it to go. It's 15-12 Patriots. Here comes Westwood. Emily Nelson. Nice move and the bucket. It's 17-12 Patriots. Mountaineers now down just two. It's Riley Pupor. She turns and puts it in to tie things up at 19. When all is said and done, the Westwood Patriots get the win tonight, 63-54. to Koski finished with a team-high 28 points. Next, let's head to Nagani. The Miners welcoming in Calumet to town. We'll pick this one up in the third quarter. Ava Anderson sinks the triple for Calumet. Copper Kings lead 25-20. A bit later, Hannah Voskel hits the three, 29-25 Calumet leading. Fourth quarter now, Nagani going to cut the Calumet lead to one with this three from McKenzie Karki, 32-31 Calumet. Nagani will then take the lead with this triple from Abby Nelson, 34-32 Miners. Nelson would hit seven straight points in the fourth. Calumet trying to hold on. The bucket from Molly Larson there, but the Miners made the plays late. They win 46-40. Nelson finished with 19 points. Some more girls scores for you. The number one West Iron County White Cons top Lance tonight, 57-46. Castle best Lake Linden Hubble, 55-25. And Bark River Harris, they top Stevenson. Broncos win 70-59.